Okay, hey guys. Um, so today we had the Reptile Expo here in Japan, and uh, if you haven't seen the uh, Expo video yet, and you're interested in it, uh, please click the annotation in this on the screen or the link down in the description down below. Uh, I'll also ha leave a link to the video in the end. So if you want to watch the pickups first, uh, then just continue. So without further ado, let's get started. So this time I'm not, I'm not going to really show you any supplies or uh, equipment that I got at the expo. So I'm just going to uh, show you some cool uh, pickups that I got. Uh, some animals, feeders, and uh, plants. So let's get started with the pickups. Okay, so the first thing I'll be showing you that I picked up uh, are these silkworms. Uh, they're a pretty uncommon food source for reptiles here in Japan. Uh, I picked up 20 of these small sized silkworms and some medium ones. Uh, these are 100 of them and I'll definitely be using them a lot. Uh, they're really healthy for a lot of uh, reptiles and amphibians so they should come in handy. So I picked up a good amount of plants this time at the expo. Uh, I don't really remember the names of them so I'll just show you how they look like. Uh, this one is pretty similar to Pothos. Uh, it's pretty cool looking. Uh, I think this is a nail galia. Here is another plant that I really don't remember the name of. It's pretty cool looking though. So here is a little vine like plant that I picked up at the expo. Um, I'm pretty excited to see how this one will grow out. Okay so the next thing I'll be showing you is an amphibian. It's a, another marbled newt. Um, I already have one of these guys, but they're just such ama amazing nudes. I just went ahead and got another, and it came with a huge amount of moss. Um, and I'll just add them to the tank with the other newt. So that's a cool new addition. Okay, so the next two uh, pickups that I'm about to show you are extremely rare. Uh, basically, it's just amazing to be able to get them here. Um, and I just want to show them to you. Most of you who are watching this who aren't following my Instagram or Facebook probably don't even know these lizards, but here we go. Uh, this is a baby Tachydromus dorsalis. Um, they're extremely rare. I only know one breeder who doesn't live in Japan who breed these guys, and um, they're really rare. Uh, cute little fellows as well. They're the largest. Um, grass lizard species in Japan. Um, they're endemic to some islands around Okinawa um, and they're not found wild where I live or basically most of Japan and since I live in Japan it's a little easier to get these guys than the US or Europe so I'm really happy to be able to share this guy with you guys and hopefully people get to know these more. Um, you can't really get them from the wild so that makes them even more rare and yeah so that's the Tachydromus dorsalis also known as the Sakshima grass lizard. And now I'll be showing you an even more slightly rare uh, pair of grass lizards from Japan. These guys are the Tachydromus toyamai also known as the uh, Miyako grass lizards I think. and. They're more rare, uh, only found in one island of Japan, and they're not as big as the uh, Sakshima grass lizards, but they are. They have some differences of the sizes and colors, and like how their keels are uh, shaped and stuff. So I'll be talking about the differences in other future videos. But I got a pair of them, so hopefully I can breed them and show you more content about them. So those are the pickups. I hope you enjoyed the video uh, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.